Hi, I'm Emily Beach, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to do a one-to-one -one ratio grid to copy a photo or image um, onto another piece of paper for a drawing or painting. For this activity, you're going to need an image, and um, there are definitely apps out there that can uh, digitally put a grid over an image. Um, I have a just copy or print out. You could use a colored image. It doesn't have to be black and white. Um, so this is a photo that I took of a still life that I'm going to use. You're going to also need a ruler and a pencil or pen. I'm going to be using a pen and actually a pink pen so that it's a little bit more visible for you in the video, but a pencil is great because if you make a mistake, you can erase um, and it's, it's a little bit more forgiving than a pen. So um, the first thing I'm going to look at is the length of this uh, image and it is seven inches long. So I'm going to be placing a hatch mark at every inch along the top portion of my image. Okay, and that's seven. And then I'm going to slide the ruler straight down and do the same thing along the bottom. And um, it's important that you don't rotate the piece and that you're sliding the ruler straight down and not rotating the ruler or the image because if for some reason this image was um, uneven, you would still end up with straight grid lines. Then I'm just going to connect those hatch marks at the top and bottom with a vertical line. And now to finish the grid, I'll just need to do the, the same thing on the left and right sides. And just every inch down the left side and every inch down the right side. And now I have a one inch grid covering my entire resource image. Sometimes it helps once transferring the image over to the drawing or painting surface um, if you want to letter and number the, the grid just to help keep track of what box you're working in, um, that works as well. So again, this is a one-to-one -one grid, which means that the grid that I'm going to be placing on my drawing paper is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be seven inches by seven inches, and I'm going to place a one-inch grid on the drawing paper. So this is going to transfer the image in the exact proportions um, and the exact size as the original printout. As I go to do this on my drawing paper, um, it is really important at this point that you're using a pencil and you want these grid lines to be fairly light because um, this is just a trick that artists use to transfer the image. You don't want it necessarily to be part of your final drawing. So I'm just placing a mark every inch um, for seven inches and then I'm going to connect those. vertical lines and again I'm using a pencil and I'm drawing fairly lightly and then I'm going to 
come down the left side. And across the right side of my paper. And then I'm going to connect those horizontal lines and you can number and letter your grid on your paper as well if it helps you to keep track of what box you're working in. So lastly, before you start drawing, just a bit of advice um, for using this grid to help uh, transfer your drawing in a one-to-one -one ratio. And um, I tell my students, if you were taking a test, you wouldn't necessarily start with the hardest part first. Um, you might save that until later or until the end. And the same goes for a drawing. Start out with the easiest parts first and then get into the more complicated areas. So looking at my photograph, I might want to start out with drawing just this um, sort of rectangular um, area first because it is going to be fairly straightforward and simple um, following those that line and shape down So I can just start to transfer the contours of the drawing over to my paper. Now that I've transferred the contours of the image, I'm going to go in and carefully erase away all of the grid lines before I start to add any shading or color um, or, or paint to any of the, the rest of this image. So um, these grid lines are erasing pretty carefully um, because I made sure to draw them uh, very lightly, so it should not take much effort to get the grid lines erased. And now my drawing is finished and ready to complete however I choose to do that. I could use any drawing material to color it or add shading, or I could paint it in if I wanted to. Um, so that is using a one-to-one -one ratio grid to copy a image onto a piece of paper or canvas.